is a video showing the repair of three carbon fiber bicycles, all of them with different sorts of brakes. One top tube was a major crack due to a, a fast fall. A second top tube was an impact of the bike falling on a rock. And a C tube was a crack on the area of the derailleur attachment. The repairs will be done using a composite patch bike patch, which is a 200 gram carbon fiber twill weave and a specific epoxy resin. The first thing is to sand the area to be repaired using a AT220 uh, grit sandpaper with at least 20 millimeters of extra distance from the size of the crack. It is best to protect the area around the crack with masking tape to avoid damaging the paint or decals. Once the sanding is done, you should remove the masking tape that will have been damaged during the sanding and use electrical tape to protect the frame again for the repair. You leave a couple millimeters of clean paint or varnish to be covered by the patch. The resin will not adhere to the electrical tape but will adhere to the masking tape. This is why you don't use masking tape. Using a notebook paper with grid lines will enable to make simple templates. Start by a smaller size on the first layer and draw the following layer with at least 10 to 15 millimeters wider than the previous one in order to spread the load by making a scarf repair. The largest crack on the top tube will be repaired with three layers of carbon patch and only two layers on the smaller impact on the second top tube. The derailleur area is subject to intense loads so three layers will be used there too. The holes of the derailleur attachment will be filled with plastiline in order to avoid filling the threads with resin. Code name each paper template so you remember with which one you need to start. In this case, we used A, B and C for each bike frame and 1, 2 and 3 for each layer order. Transfer your paper template with a permanent marker on the patch plastic pouch and number them too. Remove the black clip and mix the resin plus hardener until the color is homogeneous. Then remove the orange clip and use it to spread the resin onto the fiber until the fiber is completely impregnated. Once the fiber looks impregnated with the resin, you will have some excess resin on one side of the pouch. Cut open the pouch and use some of that extra resin to apply on the freshly sanded carbon in order to prime well the area with this extra adhesive layer. Use scissors or Stanley cutter to cut your patches and keep both plastic sides until you apply them. Wait between 20 minutes and 45 minutes depending on the room temperature so the resin starts to gel. The resin will then be very tacky and the application of the patch will be very close to laying a sticker. Remove the plastic on one side and apply the carbon patch like a sticker. Then remove the top layer of the plastic and apply the following layer. If the area to be repaired has a flat geometry, it is possible to leave the plastic on top of the last layer. This will enable a nice smooth finish.
On a complex area, it is best to remove the last layer of plastic and use electrical tape to press the patch around the repair area.